Um, good old hillbilly here, here to talk about Dave's farm today, um, and all the drama that's been going on there lately. Um, I just tried to do this video and got a phone call, so I'll try it again. Um, as you know, um, if you're an avid watcher of Dave's farm and, uh, the rest of them, uh, Redneck Rickham, Crazy Bulletish Brook, uh, Pug, you know, or One Pug Life, his name actually is, um, you know, I've been watching them now for quite a few months, and uh, they, you know, in a way, they're somewhat of my inspiration. A lot of the stuff I do is similar to what they do, and they do a lot more of what I'd like to do, but unfortunately, I just don't have the ability to do it. I don't have the place to do it, or, you know, the resources, or, well, I usually have the time. I'm like, lately, except for I've been working so much, but anyways, um... There's been quite a lot of drama going on, uh, well, first with the uh, bylaw officers, with the uh, Tidy Yard Act, trying to get Dave to clean up his farm and maybe get rid of his cars, which is kind of a shitty thing, um, because I know around here they have the same kind of thing, and I've heard of some people getting royally shafted from just this stupid stuff that, you know, because your neighbor down the road, you know, doesn't like the idea that you have 10 cars in your yard, you know, you have to clean it all up. Even though, like in Dave's case, you know, he, he's old derelict cars. Yes, they're old and derelict, but that, that depends, I guess, on how you, uh, how you, uh, I can't think of the word, but uh, how you explain derelict, you know, what your comprehension of that word is. Um, but, you know, his, his vehicles aren't derelict for the most part just because he drives them, and the ones that he doesn't drive, he crushes and gets rid of. But also, like, you know, he says and states quite frequently that, you know, they are props for him, and he uses them and takes videos with them and makes money from those videos. And really, I mean, that's not a lot different from, you know, a movie business or, a sh you know, TV show commercials. You know, they all get special privileges, you know, to use, you know, go on the highway, and, you know, recreate a, a chase scene, stuff like that, you know. They do it in public areas. He's doing it on his own private land, and I think it is a little ridiculous. I'm just hoping that uh, they don't really get on his ass and actually make him get rid of all his vehicles, because I think there is some alternatives that may work. Um, probably the easiest one. If, you know, people are complaining that vehicles are visible from the road, he's just going to have to make a place in the back 40 and start putting them all back there. But that sucks for him because then, you know, they're all away from the building, and that's where, obviously, he needs them close to because you've got to work on them all the time because they're old beat-off junkers, basically. But, you know, I think that really sucks. But that's a hate, you know, mostly I think that's the haters getting on them. Uh, I doubt that it's his neighbors. If his neighbors have problems, I think they'd probably just come and tell him. Because most neighbors do that. Uh, they don't use, well, hard to say, I guess. Depends on where you live. Sometimes they like to just hide behind the fence kind of thing, call the cops and have them deal with you. But a lot of people, you know, if they actually have a problem and they're decent people, they'll come and sit face to face and, you know, give you a chance to do something about it. At least I'd hope, you know. I know if I was in the same case, I'd hope my neighbors did the same thing, but I'm not. Anyway, so hopefully, like I said, you know, that that doesn't end or diminish Dave's uh, status or, his, you know, his frequency of videos. Um, well, it is kind of affecting his frequency of videos now, but I guess, you know, just that it doesn't stop him or slow him down too much to the point you know, where he stops making videos or just puts on, you know, one or two a week because, you know, after a while you get bored of watching the same things and if you've seen all his videos like I have, um, then, you know, you wait for the new videos to come out and lately, you know, there's been so much crap going on, most of the videos are just, you know, about the crap. Um, the other thing I was going to touch on was, uh, One Pug Life, um, uh, Sorry to say, broke his back there a while back. Most people already know about that. And some people, it's actually distant memory. <laughs> it, it's been a little bit. Um, I actually did mean to do videos about these back when they happened. 
Um, but I just, like in my other video, if you've seen that yet, uh, I haven't had the chance because I've been working so much. I haven't even picked up my camera for about, you know, three weeks. But it's very sad to see that uh, Pug broke his back. Um, unfortunately, it was bound to happen. I mean, you take things to the limit like that, and, you know, especially without taking extra safety precautions, well, something's going to happen eventually. I know I do some crazy stuff myself, and, you know, I can't really say too, too much. I've been very lucky in the past that nothing like that has ever happened to me. But, uh, you know, if you push things to the max like that, I mean, friggin', you know, an old beat-off Winnebago, you know, you can't jump that and not expect something bad to happen. They're not made to jump, you know. They're not made to take that huge abuse. I mean, even the Ford Escort, I mean, that was a wild jump. And, you know, you saw what happened to that, and that car is very small and very light. And, you know, you try to launch, you know, God knows how many ton Winnebago. And, you know, he's lucky in a way that it could have been a lot worse. And uh, it could have been a lot worse for everybody, really. Um, but the good thing is he is making a recovery. Uh, and kind of smarten him up, which is probably a good thing for him. Um, kind of hurt me a bit that... Uh, Dave at first was so skittish about it, but I think he just didn't know how to deal with it uh, for the most part. You know, he know, knew that as soon as it happened that, you know, it was got to cause a lot of controversy. And, of course, the people that, you know, don't like Dave, of course, were going to feed on it and do everything they could. And not only that, with all the drama with the bylaw 